this looks familiar. Mm. What's up guys, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be unboxing this car. It looks a lot like this WL Toys here I got. The body looks pretty much identical. We'll be unboxing it, testing it, and then we'll see what is the same and what is different. Alright, let's get into it. First, here's the box panels. We got this. This was $20, by the way. $20. And then this is usually $60. 60 to 70 range. Alright, so that's that. Let's open it up. See what's in the box. Okay, whoa. Very shiny packaging. The box here. Cones. Very massive cones for the car. Way huge. Then we got the car. Looks like it's on by zip ties or something or twist ties. I'll get that off in a second. And then in here, let's see what we got in here. Looks like we got, scan this code with your phone's camera. Nope. Some spare tires and charger and a wheel wrench. Uh, remote, I mean a manual. Thing that you're not supposed to eat. And then, the remote, oh no, there's something up Oh, it comes with batteries. That's nice. And they're Duracell ones. Here's the remote. Which does resemble the WL Toys remote. The wheel looks the exact same. And then it has certain features that look the same as this. This is way smaller. Alright, here it is out of the box. Let's see. Oh my, they're pretty much almost the exact same thing. Well, this one has different wheels and tires. But this, I'll grab. This is the stock tire. Except that one's black. It's pretty much the same tread pattern. And everything. That has lights. It's plastic chassis, which... Well, let's see what else is in here. Got... Bushings it looks like in there. I'll take it apart and look at it. Oh, there's the lights. Oh, these ones, they must work. No. This one has lights too, same as that. So here's the remote. Oh, beeps. Here, we'll turn it on. Oh, there it is. Oh, dang. Oh, it is fully proportional. Here, let's see. Decent fast. And there's multiple gears on it. Second. That must be first. That's second. Third. So, let's try it. Must be proportional driving too. We don't pull off. Ah! Oh jeez, fell off the table. Well, now let's compare them. So, I'll show you under this first. This one is modified compared to stock. It has brushless motor. And then I have run it with the Traxxas TQI remote. It's way modded compared to a stock one. Got some metal gears in it and drift tires on it. And then this one, here. There's no clips on it. Ooh. You might be able to get the body off. Oh, there it is. The body does come off, it looks like. There's no clips, though. Ooh. 
Oh boy, look at that. Uh, oh, there. Oh my, here's the body comparison. I think this will fit on this. Stuff hits in there because this one has the lights in there. If you didn't, because this one comes with the lights on the bumper. This one comes with it in the body. So I'm assuming if you put your, took those out, it would fit to this. Oh yeah, it fits on there. It's literally, the body is the exact same. They, they copied that. It has like, looks like a little one or two S pack, I can't tell. Might be, now yeah, we'll take this apart and see what's underneath it. Alright, so on the inside here, you got to take a bunch of screws off. This is a LiPo that it comes with. Rechargeable LiPo battery that's just plugged right onto the main board there. Small, small brushless mo or brushed motor. Then it has a metal center shaft. A real uh, ser steering servo. So you could put a different servo in here if you wanted. And this motor, I think, is the same size is this RC1 car motor. It looks to be the same size. You could put this in. This is a brushless motor. Maybe I'll do that eventually. That could be a project. Otherwise, it has friction dampening shocks, and it it's not really even a shock. It's just right there. It's just... See, like that. Metal drive shafts. Uh, it has bearings, it looks like. No, those are bushings. Bushings. And I think that's it for in here. I'll charge it up and then we'll run them. on this i think for twenty dollars this is a super super good rc car for twenty dollars for a beginner i think if you got this for a kid for christmas it would they would be super happy with it it's pretty durable i didn't break anything on it the i did notice one problem though in the gears on the inside between the motor and the shaft put, making it drive it would hang up or if you get a rock in it from driving it outside and it got stuck in there it wouldn't move correctly so you just got to take that out if it don't do that but otherwise this thing is pretty good i would recommend buying this uh for the speed wise it says 18 on the box i got 11.6 uh, which is not bad i think if i had a little bit more um smoother area to test it on to do speed track speed run on it i think it probably could go 18 i think it's probably can go 18 sides what this is though you can't really upgrade it you can upgrade it with like drift wheels like this they do fit on this and um you can also you might be able to buy a small brushless motor like the one i showed in the beginning I will be trying that out probably, so s subscribe if you want to see that. And that's about it. Um, it rips good. I would recommend it for $20. I, 
I got it from Costco. I'm pretty sure you can buy it from Amazon. I'm not sure. If you can, I'll link it down below. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.